Hi friends, and welcome to Tiny Technical Tutorials, where we do bite-sized lessons for today's tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create animated GIFs using Microsoft PowerPoint. No other software needed. This is a feature that came out with PowerPoint for Microsoft 365, so you will need that version if you're going to use this. Let me give you a quick preview of what we'll be building. Here I have three different GIFs, starting with a fun little cartoon of a cat here, who thinks he's just so innocent. Okay, and that will just cycle through until we close out of this. That's just the Microsoft Photo Viewer. You could also open that up in your favorite browser. We can also create memes. So something like this, where the text is animating in, and that will cycle through as well. And then finally, a splash screen, something like this. Maybe you want to put in front of a video or a presentation that you're doing. So these are all just GIF image files, something that you could post to Facebook or Twitter or Slack or whatever you have going on. Let's see how to do that in PowerPoint. We'll start with our cartoon example of the cat. So just starting with a blank slide here, and I'll come up to insert. If you want to follow along, there's some fun icons here from Microsoft that are built in. So come up to illustrations, and then I'll filter by cat. And we want five different versions of this cat. We're going to start with this one here with the ball of string, and then this one here of, who, me? I'm not doing anything. This one here, eyes a little bit closed, kind of crouching down, and then finally this one. So I'll insert those five. You, of course, can choose whatever you want here. Lots of different icons you can pick from. And then let me just zoom out a little bit. We're going to get these arranged so that we can kind of create this cartoon or this video. So I'll just move these over here to the side. This is the one I want to start with, with that ball of string. These others I'll just set over here for just a minute, and we'll come back to them. Okay, so we're going to start with this one here. I'll center it in the slide. And then basically what we're doing is we want to create an animation. That's what an animated GIF is. It's just different frames. Now we could take this and come up here to animations and have it appear and disappear and have these other cats appear and disappear and so forth. But for something like this, I find it's actually easier to put every frame on a new slide and that'll work perfectly well when you go to create the GIF. So we'll start with this as our first slide or our first frame in this cartoon. And then I'll come up here and right click on the slide and say duplicate. And then we're gonna create the second frame here basically. So for this one, let's choose this cat. We need to rotate him though. I'll just double, oops, double click. That'll bring up the graphics format tab here on the ribbon and we will flip horizontal just so his head's going the same direction. And then I'll keep grabbing the wrong one there. Oops, control Z and grab this one, right click and say bring to front just so we can work with it more easily here. And this next part is definitely not a science. I'm just going to kind of resize this so the head is about the same, so it looks like the same cat. There we go. And then I will align the paws down here. Once I get that where I want it, I'll just do a Control X to cut temporarily. And then we need to get rid of this cat back here, this original cat. But you'll see this is just a single image or a single graphic at the moment. There's a handy way that you can fix that, though. If you come up to Graphics Format up here, and say convert to shape, that'll make it into a whole bunch of different shapes. So now you can just select the cat over here, delete, and then I'm gonna paste in that cat we were working with earlier, so our second frame cat. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing here for the next one, our third cat. Let's have that be this one up here, so eyes slightly closed. I'll right click, bring to front again, just so I can move this one here, kind of resize it. Again, this is not perfect or super precise, but just generally kind of eyeball it. I will do a control X to cut so I can get to this one, delete, and then paste this one back in. Okay, we've got two more to do. I'll just go through similar steps. I won't make you watch me do all of this, but I'll pause and be back in just a minute. All right, so we've got our five slides or five different frames here. I'll just mouse through those. You'll see that we've got the cat in its various stages. Now, as far as the animation goes, basically each of these are going to be a different frame. So we don't need to do any animations on the slide itself, except for this one. 
So this one I want the cat to kind of zoom off to the left of the screen here. And to do that, I'll just click on him, come up to animations, and then we'll do, we need an exit animation here. We want to fly out. But rather than going down the slide, click on the cat again, come up to effect options, and let's move him off to the left. Perfect. Okay. Now when we go to save this as an animated GIF, PowerPoint's basically going to take all of the slides in this deck and make each one of them a frame. And then it'll also make a frame for this animation that we just did moving off to the left. What that means is that if there's anything else in the deck, that's going to get pulled into your GIF unless you go hide those slides. So very important. I've got some other slides here, like my completed section, for example, where I did all of these before. You want to make sure that these are hidden. And you can tell that they're hidden because they're sort of grayed out and there's a line here through the slide number. So you'll see all of those are hidden. For the other examples here, I've hidden these slides, but if you have a slide that's not hidden, the way to do that is just right click on it and then say hide slide. If it's already hidden, it will actually unhide it. So if I were to click that, you'll see it's unhidden now and then hidden. So the only slides that you want to be visible or unhidden are these five here with the cat. All right, all we need to do now is come up to File, Save As, and then rather than saving it as a PowerPoint presentation, PPTX like you are probably used to doing, you wanna save it as an animated GIF. And we'll call this one Cartoon, and Save. All right, in Windows Explorer, you'll see that we've got cartoon.gif, and if I double click that, it'll open up in my viewer, and there's our cat off to the left of the slide. And this will just repeat until you close the viewer. Pretty simple, huh? All right, let's work on our next example of the meme. So here I've got a photo of a cat. This is my sister's cat who is not at all impressed. And then uh, thinking when there are still 60 slides left in the presentation, that's the feeling you get. Not for this presentation, of course. But it's just text. There's nothing special with the text here. You'll see it's just an impactful font, large font. When you create a meme, the animation might be on the image itself, where you're toggling between a few different things, or sometimes the text is animated as well. For this one, we are going to animate the text. So I'll come up here to Animations, and we'll say Appear. And then if you click on this and come up to Animation Pane, We'll just go add a small effect here, come up to Effect Options. And rather than animating everything at once, we'll do word by word. Not too slow, so 0.3 seconds between the words. You'll see that preview there. So that's all we're going to do on this one. Pretty simple. Before we go save as an animated GIF, though, we want to make sure that we've got the right slides visible. So this one is currently hidden. I'll right click say hide, which will do the reverse. It'll unhide it since it was hidden before. And then these cartoon ones that we were just working with, I'll right click these and say hide. So the only thing that's visible that's going to get picked up in the animation when we go to save is this meme slide. Okay, same steps here. Save as. We'll call this one meme. And once again, all you need to do is select the animated GIF, save, and here's our meme and the text is just going to cycle through. Definitely a good one to upload to Facebook, right? Okay. The last example is a splash screen, so maybe something you want to put in front of a video or a presentation that you're doing. This is just a simple image, my logo, and then an image for the text as well, and a line. All we need to do here is some animation, so let's select this, and we'll have this one float in but maybe we want it to float in the other direction, so from the top of the slide. And then for the text, we'll do a similar thing, float in coming up from the bottom, and same thing for the line. So keeping it super simple. The background is nothing special, it's just a black fill color here, so not an image there. All right, what next? We just need to make sure that the correct slides are hidden and unhidden, so I will make sure this one is unhidden and then we'll go hide that meme slide that we were just working with. So hide slide, similar steps, up to File, Save As. 
This one is splash screen type animated GIF and save. All right, looking at that one. There you go. And there you have it. That's how to create animated GIFs using only Microsoft PowerPoint. If you found this content valuable, we always appreciate the likes, subscribes, and shares.